Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We'll start with the medicines. So medicines, we'll start with the drugs. What is drug? See, drug is nothing but a chemical which interact with macromolecular target and produce a biological response. So what is macromolecular target? So for example, if you see with my lungs, if you talk, take about this part, that is a micromolecular target. And anything which interact with this macromolecular target, this is the zoom version of this dot, and that produce a biological response, that is called drug. For example, this medicine is saying hello to this particular target, and this target will respond. Maybe if it is sick, it will become better. Maybe it is, if it is impacted with virus, something will happen. Some, some, some response will come from this macromolecular target. So drug is nothing but a chemical which interacts with the macromolecular target and produce a biological response. So if you see human life is nothing but balance between chemical compounds. We have seen that in the past chapter, the whole body is made of proteins right so proteins makes uh, i mean cells cells makes proteins proteins makes organs organs make bodies and if you see the cell itself they are made up of, of nothing but chemical compounds the dna rna chromosomes everything is a chemical compound so the whole body is nothing but a chemical compound and i perceive life human life is nothing but balance between chemical compounds please let me write this it's a very uh, big statement so this human life is nothing but as I perceive balance between chemical compounds. Now these chemical compounds makes lungs, eyes, all the organs, and the balance. If the balance is impacted, we fall ill. So the purpose of the log drug is to maintain this balance. So these drugs interact with this in macromolecular targets and these targets are also we have seen in the past chapter nothing but chemical compounds. They are the proteins, they are lipids or nucleic acids. We have seen that, right? So proteins are nothing but enzymes. So we have seen that our body is made up of chemical compounds, right? And we have classified these into different types. So these drugs, these drugs are nothing but again a chemical compound that interact with these macromolecular targets. Please note, they interact with these macromolecular targets and they produce biological response. We'll discuss about the drugs in details now. Now, when this biological response which we have got is therapeutic, that means it can it has a tendency to heal things, right? So these chemicals are then used for diagnosis, also for prevention, and also for treatment of a disease. Correct? So when, not always, sometimes these biological responses are useful, the therapeutic. So in that case, these chemicals are called medicines. Correct? So drugs are what? Drugs are any chemical which will produce a biological response. So drug may produce a bad response, a good response. If it produces a good response, that is nothing but a medicine. For example, poison will not be a medicine, right? A small dose of poison, maybe if it produces a useful, a good response, it will be called a, a medicine. So drug is a higher version. And we have a medicine as a lower version. So we filter out only good response. So drug is a chemical which produces a response, a biological response when interact with molecule, macromolecular target. Medicines are subclassification of drugs which produce good response, right? And they are useful, correct? And they can be used for diagnosis, prevention and treatment of the disease. But please note, if this dose is high, if you take more dose of a particular medicine, it can be poisonous. It can be 
poisons. So it is always recommended that you consult a doctor and then take proper dose of medicines. So with this we define a new term called chemotherapy that is used of chemical for treatment of disease. Therapy is nothing but treatment of disease and chemo is nothing but chemical. Use of chemical for treatment of disease. So when you fall ill, or for example, you, you get fever, go to doctor. Doctor gives you medicine. In general case, they'll give you paracetamol. So this paracetamol or this medicine is nothing but a chemical. So this chemical is helping you to recover from fever. So this is the whole process of taking the medicine and getting recovered this is called chemotherapy. So what is chemotherapy? Chemo is chemical, therapy is treatment. So use of chemical for treatment of disease is called chemotherapy. It's a very critical definition. Please understand chemotherapy. Chemo means chemical, therapy means treatment. Use of chemical for treatment of disease is called chemotherapy. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.